Touch J. What y'all out there doing? Oh my gosh. Listen, this is my 21 day challenge of podcasting. Yeah, I'm going to be sharing my journeys and everything with y'all. So make sure y'all listen. All right. Episode is up next. Hey, y'all. This is just a touch of J and I'm coming at you. Getting ready to put it all out there in pieces, baby. What's cracking with my babies, huh? What y'all out there doing? What are y'all out there doing, huh? Living your best life. Doing what it is that you do, that you do, that you do. Oh my gosh. I know that y'all are out there being so thrilled and so wise, baby. Just living your best life. And why do I tell you? That I know that you are out there being so thorough and so wise, baby. Come on, what's the first reason? Hmm. Because God made you that way. Oh, my gosh. Shout out to you, God. Yes, he is a rewarder to those that diligently seek him. Mm, mm, mm. Woke you up this morning, started you on your way. Got you out there two-stepping, doing that one-two, living your best life. Like I said, doing what it is that you do, that you do, that you do. (laughs) Oh my gosh. Now, what's the second reason why I tell y'all that I know that you are out there being so thorough and so wise, baby, huh? (laughs) Already know why. Come on, because y'all out there listening to me. And this is just a touch of J, baby. Y'all know I put it out there in pieces for you. So listen, you know there's a third... Y'all already know what happens when I get cut off, right? Oh, man, that means that I got a story to tell. Like Biggie, y'all already know every time I get cut off that that means that it's about to be real thorough and wise. This is just a touch of that, baby. Now I'm real hyped now. Okay, so look, the third thing that I always tell y'all is what? (laughs) To say hi to your haters just like this. Hi! Cause y'all need this work too. Yes, y'all need this work too. So I tell y'all to give a shout out to the haters, right? That's what I tell y'all. That's the third thing. And the reason why I tell y'all to give a shout out to the haters, cause see what God does, right? (laughs) He prepares a table for you in the presence of your enemies. All right. He says, listen, you out here doing what it is that you're supposed to do. So what it is, is that what's going to happen now is that I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to drop a dime on you. I'm going to let you shine on them. Okay. So he said, I'm going to prepare a table for you in the presence of your enemies. I'm going to anoint your head with oil. Your cup's going to run over. Okay. They're going to have to watch you eat. So this is what I want you to get in your head. It's Thanksgiving. It's Christmas. You know, whatever holiday it is that you love. Chinese New Year, New Year's, whatever you got going on in any area, country that you live in, that, that you really love when you prepare this feast, this meal. Imagine all that food and everything you possibly ever wanted just laying out on the table in front of you, right? Well, God's riches and his glory all over it. 
And you know what happens when he does all that. He puts you on display in front of everybody. So then you got people coming over like this. Is that my boy over there shining on him? Is that my girl over there shining on him? And they peeking. They're like, what's going on over there? Wait a minute. What they over there doing? You know, whether it's your new job promotion or, you know, um, your new car or whatever it is that you got going on, your career, podcasting, um, whatever. You know, whatever it is that you have that God is using as like bait, he's putting you out there on display. And they start coming over and they want to go ahead and look and they like, wait a minute, what's going on? And what happens is they get blessed by the message because they need that work too. You know, like... Let's just say you have a podcast, right? And all of a sudden, people who laughed at you or never even really cared about your podcast all of a sudden start listening to it. Or like with me, I got some current health issues going on, and now everybody like wants to know what's going on. And I'm telling them, come on over. This is just a touch J, baby. I'm just trying to put it out there in pieces for you. And what God is doing is... He's letting them listen and they're getting blessed by the message. So if you got anything going on in your life and you start seeing haters, um, naysayers, disbelievers, people who, you know, really didn't see you for who you are, but now they want to see what you got going on. What you supposed to do is never get mad, baby. No, 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 no. You supposed to say this. Hi, haters. Because y'all need this to work. Too. Yes, y'all need this work too. Okay, so listen. Have y'all been going over to my name is R O N I seven six on Instagram, baby? Oh my gosh, child, listen. I just dropped a video out there. Yeah, I put a video out there. I told y'all I'm coming at y'all raw. You know, I put a video out there of me. Now look, y'all. This is what I got to tell y'all. This is on Instagram, baby. Okay. My name is R O N I 76 on Instagram. All right. I put it on my Make a Love Beast Kitchen on Instagram, my Just a Touch of J Fitness on Instagram, the Decharge Podcast Network Instagram, and the Just a Touch of J. Oh, we are Just a Touch of J um, Instagram. I put it on all those Instagrams and all my Facebook stories and everywhere. It's everywhere. Okay. But it's a video of me on there and I'm talking to y'all and I got like my little head wrap on, you know, and it's just me. I'm in my bathroom and I'm showing you a couple things. I'm basically telling you what I'm thankful for and how blessed I am. And it's just me in my regular form. Ain't no makeup, no nothing like that. Y'all can see how I lost weight and how I look. I want you to see me like that. Now, listen, I actually waited. God is telling me to tell you I waited a little bit because I was much smaller. I was like 15 pounds less than that. And that's when I was barely walking. I'm like, I told you I was like 129, but I went to the doctors the other day, lost some weight, 122. You know, so, you know, but it's, it's just, a, it's a, it's a stepping stone. That's where all my clothes are, baby. This is just a touch of J. Okay. And shoes. All right. But 122. So I'm probably like 118, something like that. But I was 156 in November before all this happened, you know? So, um, I'm on there and I'm just telling y'all that I'm, I'm thankful and that I'm blessed about, you know, how God is just really like restoring my life. But I wanted y'all to see that. So that way, as you see it progress, Okay, or degress or whatever it is that God got going on. But you won't see his glory. You won't see it manifest. I am going to be restored. God healed me. And you're going to see the healing is a process. Ups and downs. Oh, Lord Jesus, he talking to me. I cannot wait to drop a dime on you. I swear I got a story to tell like Biggie. This going to be a good one. Woo! But I want you to see the process of restoration. Yeah, sometimes you got good days, sometimes you got bad days. Sometimes your weight is up, sometimes it's down. Y'all know, especially if you're doing that whole weight loss thing. You know, or whatever it is you got going on and you got issues. You know, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. If you're married, you're in a relationship, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. Sometimes work is good, sometimes it's bad. It gets on your nerves. You know, everything is a process, right? But this is just a touch of J. So make sure y'all check that out. Well, my name is R1976 on Instagram, baby. And make sure you keep listening to the Just a Touch of J podcast. Okay, it's on over like 30 podcast networks available on the Just a Touch of J app for free. All you got to do is download it. And then you want to go to listen to V. 
that section and it says these podcast topics and then you get all 200 and I'm sorry 312 of my episodes are right there and available on like over more than 30 podcast streaming networks Spotify iHeart whatever iTunes whatever it is you want baby this just touches everywhere okay now look I'm moving on over to the left to the left to the left so I can shine bright 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 like a diamond okay because we got to go over to making love v's kitchen what have i been doing not much <laughs> histamine kind of went up so basically i stopped doing meat for a couple days got laid it on my heart okay just do meat twice a day because i was doing meat and all other type of stuff and i've been having some issues with it and that's one reason why i went down on my weight a little bit because you got to watch it okay so i'm going to try to do protein like twice a day you know, and just try to get some other things in me. I woke up this morning, my tongue was all white, the inside of my mouth was, because it has to do with my my issues that are in my stomach and my intestines. So I have like a, 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 can, a Canadia, like, you know, that yeast that's in there and stuff like that, that forms, you know, and I ate rice, a lot of rice, and you're not supposed to eat rice because that just isn't good. But, you know, I have to do something to sustain me. You know, so my doctor, he doesn't really like that. But so I ain't really been making no love in V's kitchen, but I'm getting there. I just had me some turkey today. You know, nothing major, just a turkey thigh. I'm going to have one later because they're high, you know, in fats and in calories. And that's it. I basically made like a soup. I just boiled it. They ain't put nothing up in there. Added a little bit of Himalayan salt when I was eating it. I couldn't even really taste it, you know, because the thing is, is that it's not about that. You know, the season, not right now. Y'all know I make love these kitchen. It's all about just trying to get the nutrition and I need some protein. And I'm not able to do like protein shakes and stuff like that right now because there's so much in it. I told y'all, but if you listen to my podcast, you will know. Okay, but I'm getting closer to where making love and these kitchen. So just keep on listening because you never know. One day things will be different and you're definitely going to see. Bow. Are you going to be like, oh, wow, she making love these kids. I'll put something out there in pieces for you. All right. So look, now I'm going to skid on over to the left, to the left, to the left. So I can do what it is that I got to do. And we going to talk about the Just a Touch of J fitness. All right. So look. I'm supposed to be doing my band workouts and I need y'all to pray for me. Okay. I do 10 dips off the nightstand. Then I do push-ups off the wall, but I do it like four different ways. Okay. Then I do arm bands and pull-ups and I do TRX stuff. But since I got this hernia in my stomach, I kind of been falling off. And you know what else too? I've been falling off too. Y'all got to keep it 100 with y'all because this stuff could drive you crazy. The stuff I got going on. Some days I just be like, God, I got to get out of the bed. Like now, like my tailbone hurts because I lost weight again. And you might be thinking, well, it's only like five, six pounds. Look, child, listen, I don't, I had this, this booty that I had built. I worked so hard to get that booty straight and there's nothing back there and I'm not used to it. So it'd be like hurting. And I just be like, some days I'd be like, I don't want to, but I got to keep it pressing. I can't give up on myself. So for the last couple days, I know I was supposed to be doing it. I haven't done it, but I'm going to go walk today and I'm going to do it. So I just need y'all to keep me in prayer. And if you all out there going through something like that because i know you are i was supposed to work out today go to the gym and i didn't everybody going through something okay just keep on pushing just like me don't give up okay because just like i told you sometimes it's good and sometimes it's bad you just have to reposition yourself that's all you just gotta reposition yourself say okay last couple days wasn't that good okay i didn't even do some of my affirmations but I had to just call on the Lord and say, God, just help me, you know, because this walk is hard. I've been really like emotional, you know, the last couple of days. I've been crying a little bit to my daughters because this is this is hard and I don't want to cry to them. But they, you know, that's what I got. You know, I got them here. All my family's basically up north. So if I have some days that are hard days. I do that. And I've gotten so many good reports from the doctors. Oh, this is right. And nothing's wrong here. And I should be rejoicing and running around, which I am. But then it's like, I I, I want answers. And God is just telling me, you are getting them and they're good. Okay. And sometimes we just get down. You know, because we got this spiritual weight and this heaviness on us because we're going in the right direction. That's what I'm going to talk to you all about. But before I do, you know, I showed you all too on my name is R-O-N-I-7-6 on Instagram. I showed you all my fitness clothing. 
Yeah, yeah, I showed the girls the fitness stuff. So y'all make sure y'all check out that video because y'all can see all the pieces. Yeah, just one well, not all the pieces, but some of the pieces that I showed y'all. You know, some of the things that y'all can get that you have already purchased. And thank you for that. All right. And we also got, because I got other stuff that I'm working on. It's coming to y'all, okay? But we got Taylor's Fit. It's the guy's line. Tell it fit to you. Gonna be so dope and so thorough and so wise. I can't wait till you guys get it and you see it. I tell you all the time, I gotta put it out there in pieces for you. Okay, because this is just a touch of jet. I can't give you all of it. It's a lot to this. It's a lot of pieces. All right, so now we're going to talk about the Just a Touch of J app. It's getting revamped. I told y'all that. I've been telling y'all that every day. I'm doing a lot of changes on it, but listen to the podcast on there for free. You know, you don't got to go to all these streaming networks or whatever. You can just download the Just a Touch of J podcast. You get everything that you want on there. You get to read my blogs. You get to get some of my food recipes. Oh my gosh, it's over like 300 and something recipes, like all different type of stuff. You know, go up to my link tree in my bios on all my stuff, my link tree. Google Just a Touch of J, you'll get my link tree address and it has everything in there. You know, it's on blackvibes.com and, you know, you could download Just Touch of J app and go on the listen to V section and you'll see these podcast topics. There's 312 podcast episodes and the first one at the top is always the one. So that's some stuff with the Just a Touch of J app and y'all can call me straight through there and talk to me and everything. If y'all want to talk to me, my phone will definitely ring and I will answer it. Okay, now look, don't over, you know do it and i have what's up's app too i'm gonna put that on there so y'all can go ahead and check me out because i know y'all all around the country and y'all be inboxing me and everything child zimbabwe madagascar y'all be hitting me up especially africa i love y'all yes lagos nigeria and south africa i love y'all everywhere y'all hit me up all the time yes especially in china and japan y'all love me too shout out to y'all okay but anyway look be break radio is the last thing before we get up into this whole thing Check me out on Beat Break Radio. I keep telling y'all did, did the morning show interviews and I'm going to be on there twice a day at night and in the morning time. So if you want to see that, BeatBreakRadioFM.com, Beat, B-E-A-T, Break, okay, B-R-E-A-K, Radio, FM.com. Check it out. Reach One Network, communications, all that is there. If you read my stuff, you'll see it. This just touched it, like I said. I just had to put that out there in pieces for you. So look, skating on over to the moving on over to the left, to the left, to the left, so I can shine bright, 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 like a diamond. And I got to drop a dime on yo. So I got a story to tell, like Biggie, Biggie Smalls the rapper. I got a story to tell, just like him. Now nah, let me stop. That's the song. <laughs> but uh, listen, okay, this is how I'm going to start this off. So I get a little message today from one of my friends. It's an encouraging message, about three minutes or something, right? And I'll post it on my app so y'all can see. Man, y'all know this is about to be thorough. I just got disconnected again. Child, this is just a touch day. This the enemy don't want somebody to get this message. But look, I'm putting it out there in pieces. I was supposed to record it the other night, but what happened is I fell asleep. So you know this is supposed to be thorough. So anyway, hopefully I don't get disconnected again. All right, but if I do, I'm going to just keep on coming back. And y'all going to be listening to it because y'all like, geez. Because y'all know if you've been listening to me, whenever it gets cut off, it's like the most thoroughness, thoroughness podcast ever. So, you know, oh, I'm getting chills. This one right here, this one. But somebody, the whole thing open. Somebody need this work. Oh, my gosh. So, let me go ahead and get to it. So, look. Oh, my gosh. I'm just like, right now, I'm just like, oh, my gosh. This must be going to be real good. All right, let me calm down. Okay. So I get this little inspirational message from one of my friends. Okay. And basically, he sends me this message. This guy, like I said, I'm going to post it on my app. Okay. So if you got the Just a Touch J app, you get to see who it is. Okay. I'm going to post it on my app. And um, I, I forget what section I'm going to put it in, but it's going to be on there so you can see it. So just in the tap for more sections somewhere. Okay. So look. 
Here it goes. He basically starts talking about when you're going through spiritual warfare. And when you're going through spiritual warfare, how sometimes you wake up in the morning time, you got like this heaviness on you. It's like, you know, you doing real good. Everything is good. And all of a sudden you start waking up, you got this heaviness on you. Like, you just feel like, gosh, like I just can't make it. Anybody out there going through that? Like I just told y'all, like I'm supposed to be working out and I'm supposed to do my affirmations, but I was off the last couple days. Ain't get no bad news and that. And I just been like emotional. It's just been like a, a heaviness on me, like a weight. I should be running around like, yay. You know, I did try a couple foods that didn't work for me. I don't know what, I don't know what it is. It's just like this spiritual heaviness. Anybody out there going through that? Like you just feel like, what the heck? You know, like something on you. You just like, get off of me. What he was saying is a lot of times that's the enemy, right? Because see, dogs don't bark at cars that are parked. They bark at things that move, right? Come on now, that's just a touch of check. So sometimes when you're moving forward in the right way in life, right? The enemy starts attacking you. Because you know, you done made it up in your mind. Like, Look, I ain't doing that stuff I used to do no more. Okay, like me. You know, like I'm out there, you know, I'm doing these videos and stuff now. Like, look, child, that was hard. Okay, because I don't be putting myself out there in pieces like that. Especially, you know, I got no hair, no makeup on and all that. Just all vulnerable. Oh, my God, Lord Jesus. It took me so long to do that. It took me like a month. I kept telling y'all, it's coming, it's coming. Every time I did it, someone's head with the phone. And I just give up. Like, oh, I can't do it. Then I finally said, you know what? I got to be brave. I got to be strong. I got to do this. This is just a touch of J. I could do this. <laughs> So I get it all together and I go ahead and do that. So, you know, I, I said, okay, God, I'm going to do this every Sunday so they can see the progress, you know, because somebody needs this. It's all for his glory. You know, none of me, all of you, that's what I say. Before I go ahead and I give you this podcast, you know, it's for God's glory, right? So I'm out here and I'm like, you know, I go ahead and I do that. And some of y'all are out there taking chances on stuff. You know, you out there like, you know, I'm going to try this, I'm going to do that. You know, y'all out there doing what it is that you do, that you do, that you do. This shot of brain like a diamond. You doing it. I'm so proud of you. I might not see you, but some of y'all, I do see you out there shining on them, living your life, doing what it is you have to do, regardless of what's going on. But sometimes when you're going in that right way, that right direction, you know, it just be like this heaviness on you. Like one of my friends, okay, and he's really open about this. The guy on Beat Break Radio, his name is Sean Garvey, did my first interview. Amazing. He put out there that he was struggling with depression and anxiety. And he's very open with it. I have depression and anxiety. I'm struggling with this. I go to my therapist. You know, I'm doing good, but some days it's bad. And sometimes, you know, I call him up. I pray for him. And he coming over on Saturday to help me out with, you know, with doing my podcast and the things like that. He's amazing. That's who I did the radio show interview with, um, the morning show. Right, but he put it out there. Some of y'all are going through that too. Some of you struggling with depression, anxiety. Some of you might be having alcohol issues. Some of y'all might just be just struggling just to wake up in the morning or just struggling with the kids, child. We all struggling with something. Food addiction, something, child. Look, remember I was addicted to them chips? Ooh, I would love to be addicted to potato chips right now. Child, I pray to God, please let me be addicted to potato chips, but only to just touch the J bread. <laughs> Well, not only, but oh Lord, I can't wait till I get back to eating normal. We got to get this stomach killed. Y'all pray for me. Okay. So look, anyway, we all go through struggles. Okay. We all do. But what I want y'all to pay attention to is like what the guy was saying in the video. He's like, it's like the Super Mario Brother games. Any of y'all used to play them games back in the day? Like the Sega and the Genesis, the game systems. And then you go through all these levels of the game, right? And then when you get to the end, it's the big guy that you got to beat. Do, 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 do. You know, you, they play that music on Super Mario and you got to beat this dude. And you've been playing this game all this time. Every level, you get to level two, three. And you get to like level eight and then it start getting harder and harder harder you don't give up when it starts getting harder and some of us out there doing it the other day I almost did a little bit I'm like man I just and it's okay to have those days because you'll have those days you know don't beat yourself up about them it's okay but don't let too much time go by because see what's happening is you're getting closer and closer and closer and that's why it gets harder and harder and harder sometimes when you get closer and closer
And when you out here and you change your mind and you like, you know, I ain't doing that stuff I used to do. The enemy, you know, he knows how to attack you in other areas. And sometimes he'll do your family, your friends. You know, he'll have other people coming at you and you'll be like, what the heck? Everything just be going wrong in life to get you off that path because you're going the way you're supposed to go. Oh my gosh, who am I talking to? This is just a touch of Jay. Any of y'all out there going through that? Huh? Like you literally just feel like it's an attack from this place, that place. If it ain't something, it's it's another thing. You like, what in the heck is going on? You just getting tired of being sick and tired. You like, wait a minute, I just was doing good just a minute ago. Now this and that. You ready to cut people off, curse people out? (sighs) Child, all your pieces just scattered and they was just in order. I want you to reevaluate that. Take a step back, right? And then I want you to be proud of yourself. This is the time to rejoice. That's what the guy was saying this morning. This is the time to rejoice. You got to get happy. Because that means you doing what it is that you do, that you do, that you do. You understand? So if you're out there and you're going through something that's starting to get a little hard. Now this is just a touch of Jack. All I want you to do is look at it and say, you know what? (laughs) Oh, I'm doing what it is that I'm supposed to do. That's why it's starting to get hard. That's why the enemy's up against me. That's why all this stuff is going on right now because I'm on the right path. You got to keep on going, though, like me. Okay, you got to keep going, man. Listen, I tell you all the time, like right now, oh, my stomach. Okay, because I stopped eating meat and I went back to some of the meat. And just, I just feel it. It's just so hot. And it's just, you know, child, I'm hungry, but I ain't hungry. <laughs> but I got to eat. <laughs> You know, but I don't want to eat, but I want to eat. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I really want to because I'm starving and I want to gain some weight. But I'm just like, oh, you know, it ain't hurting. But it's just like, I just, the histamine and things. But God is keeping me and he going to keep you too. Okay, so look, this is what he's telling me. This is the next step I got to get to real quick before I go ahead and I end these pieces. Okay, now look, for all my Bible scholars, you know, y'all know who subscribed to the book. Okay, and you up in that book and you like, this is my thing. Okay, that's your thing. You read your word. You know, yeah, you're all holier than that, but you know the word. I need y'all to check out Joshua. And even if you don't know the word, look, Joshua in the Bible. Okay, this is what I want y'all to get. All right, now look, this is what God says, right? This is so thorough. So look, let me let me recap. You're going through all this stuff. Things are happening sometimes in life, right? Okay. I want you to go to Joshua if you're having some issues. The beginning of the book of Joshua. This is what the enemy ain't want y'all to hear. This is why I keep cutting off. You ready? <laughs> I want you to start Joshua 1, 5. Okay. Listen. There shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. As I was with Moses... So will I be with thee. I will not fail thee nor forsake thee. Be strong (laughs) and of good courage. For unto this people shall divide for an inheritance the land which I swear unto their fathers to give them. Okay. Only be thou strong and very courageous. That thou mayest observe to do according to all the law which Moses, my servant, commanded thee. Turn not from it to the right hand or to the left, that thou mayest prosper. That thou mayest prosper wheresoever thou goest. Right? This book of the law, okay, shall not depart out of thy mouth. But thou shalt meditate therein day and night that thou mayest observe to do accordingly to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous and then thou shalt have good success. Because there's a bad success and a good success. Okay. Have I not commanded thee? Be strong and of a good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee wherever thou goest. Okay? Then he talks about prepare for three days because things are coming. So, But you're going to possess it if you don't give up. So in three days, I want y'all to mark in y'all calendar. (laughs) 
prophetic for somebody. I don't know who this is for, but three days. I prophesied that in three days, God's going to do something for you just because I told you that. Three days. So whoever's listening, I want you to write it down. Okay, three days, because he did it for me. That's how I got that $6,000. Six hundred dollars. <laughs> I'll make sure I tell you all right. Okay, but it really was, if I think about it, all together six thousand. Yeah, let me think. Yeah, about six thousand. Mm-hmm. Because three days. Okay. So listen, let me go back to that, right? Because you might be like, "Dow's goeth" and all of that. Basically, what this means is, right? God keeps telling us to be strong and have good courage because things are out here that's trying to take our courage. You're trying to mess with our strength. You know, you out here doing what it is that you're supposed to do, baby. You out here trying to live your best life shining on them, child. Because they hate it, baby. You out here doing what it is that you got to do for you. Just, I'm going right. I'm trying, God. And just, it's just one thing after another. Things are just, they're getting hard because you're getting closer to your destiny. So God is saying, be strong and of good courage. And what he's also saying is, I will be with thee and I will not fail thee or forsake thee. But this is something that you have to do. That's what he told me to tell you, right? You can only be strong and a very good courage. Be courageous, right? Don't turn from your right hand into your, to your left hand. God is telling you that if you don't, you be strong, you be courageous, that he's going to prosper you wherever you go. But what you have to do, though, is you have to meditate on his word day and night. Now, you might be like, how am I going to be doing all this meditating on the word day and night? What I'm saying is take the word of God and hide it in your heart so you won't sin against it. Just try to live your life right. When these obstacles come up, you know, get your little scriptures out or whatever it is that you need. Get your little words of affirmation. Try to keep going on and doing what it is that you're supposed to do. Don't quit. Don't give up. Because that's what the enemy's trying to do. That's why it gets hard. Like with the, the video games. You know, you got this obstacle. You got that obstacle. You got to fight this one and fight that one. Just to get to the next level. To get to the next step. Because listen. Elevation requires separation from who you used to be. And as you elevate each step, things get harder. <sighs> this is just a touch of J. It's not easy all the time. I'm talking to myself as I'm talking to y'all. Trust me. Lord, help me. But if you meditate on the day and night when things get a little rough, okay, he tells you. (laughs) Then thou shalt make thy way prosperous and then shalt shalt have good success. So all you got to do is just try to stay in God's word. Just try to stay focused. Just try to do what it is you got to do. He know your heart. You know, it ain't going to be easy. Some days going to be bad. Some days going to be good. But just keep on prospering. Keep on doing what it is that you're supposed to do. Just try. That's all the word of the Lord is try. He's a shield to all those that trust him. Ain't nothing else. That's all. You can't be perfect. Nobody's perfect. Abraham was a drunk. The one that built the ark. God said, built this ark for me. He out there butt naked drunk. Okay, the one that was Peter that was with him, cutting off people's ears, you know, cursing out people. Oh, gosh. All type of stuff that was going on up in the Bible. They was wilding out. Okay, having sex and all type of craziness going on. Please, nobody's perfect. Okay, he uses whoever he needs to use for his purpose and his glory. I got to keep trying to tell y'all, listen to me. Ronnie is what they used to call me. They still call me Ronnie, some of y'all. Okay, listen, I was out here. I used to be lying to people. I used to be scamming people. I used to do all type of trickery. Okay, listen. Now, look, I don't want you to think I was all crazy and like that because I wasn't that, you know. But I, I had things that I had issues with like y'all do too. You know, I had things. I was looking for love in all the wrong places, you know, and I, I wasn't valuing myself at times. You know, things like that. You know, I, 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 I had my own thing. I tell you all the time, I had a girlfriend and a boyfriend <laughs> and they both knew about it. Okay. Sexually. Okay. Yeah. And we lived together. We wasn't never all in, 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 in an entanglement or that like that. But you know what I'm saying? I had my own pieces, baby. Women that used to be my thing. Okay. And I don't have no problem with telling you that because the Lord delivered me from that. And there's nothing against anybody that's out there. If that's your thing, that's your thing. But I'm saying that's what he delivered me from. This is just a touch of Jay. I'm just telling you that God knows how to use anybody in any situation. He loves all of us the same way. Do you get that? He loves you for who you are, for who you are. If you have a man and you have a woman, whoever, whatever it is you got going on, there's nothing too hard for God to to love you through. But he's, he's giving you his word. He's telling you. Be strong and good. And be in good courage, right? Don't be afraid. 
right? This is the end of it. Neither be thou dismayed, for the Lord thy God is with thee wherever thou goest. But the, the main thing that I want you to get is five. He says, all the days of thy life, as I was with Moses, so will I be with thee. I will not fail thee nor forsake thee. That's there. Now look, God is telling me to tell y'all this. Y'all out here, y'all believe it, right? And it's Corona. You know, I gotta put my mask on, you know, because, you know, this is invisible virus that's out here, you know, and if I don't keep on my mask with my gloves, um, something could happen if I don't mask up, right? Because it's invisible. You can't see it. But you know, if you keep that mask on, it's going to be okay. That's like God. You can't see him. But I'm trying to tell you, if you trust him and do what it is that you do, that you do, baby, thou shall not fail thee. He will make your way prosperous and you will have good success. So now let me skateboard going to the other pieces. So when you're going through, right, and you got so much stuff going on, you like, man, you feel like giving up because it's a little rough. I want you to just remember Joshua chapter one. Check it out for yourself. Give it a try. Do what you got to do. Give God all your problems. Don't worry about them. You know, because you can't add one more hour of length to your life. That's Matthew 6. You know, look at the birds of the air. They neither sow seed nor reap the harvest, but yet your heavenly father keeps feeding them. Are you not much more worthy than they? (laughs) You can't add an hour of length to your life. You can't do nothing but just. Try to just do right and do what it is that God tells you to do. That's it. Like, I ain't out here trying to change you and make you come on over and nothing like that. You know, you do what it is that you got to do. I'm just telling you what I know. He has healed me and restored me. And he can do it for you, too, if you feel like you're going through. Okay? You feel like you got something going on and you just can't go. Don't give up. Rejoice, be happy. You're on the right way. If it starts getting real rough for you, just remember, God going to be with you wherever you go. You're going to make your way prosperous. You're going to have good success. Just focus on going forward in the rough times. Because you get in there. And it's, it's going to be thorough and it's going to be wise. Don't quit. Don't give up. Get happy because you're going the right way. And this is just a touch of jet, okay? I just had to put them pieces out there for you. I know that's for somebody because y'all had too much going on, too many disconnects and all that. I think it was like three. Child, Lord, what's going on with that? Or two? Or, I don't know. But look, so I don't even got to recap. I know you got that. I know you got that. You know, you cannot. This is what God's telling me. You can't be out here doing trickery, though. Because you out here doing trickery, and then you're trying to figure out why your life is all messed up. That's because you're doing trickery. Please stop lying to yourself and tell yourself the truth. Okay? You got to go ahead and do the right thing for it to go right. Okay? So if you're doing trickery and it's going wrong, you know why. But if you're doing right and things are getting a little hard for you, it's only because you're on the right way. You're on the right path. Your goal is going the way that it's supposed to go. You're doing right. Keep going. Keep believing in yourself. Don't quit. Don't give up on yourself. Stay strong. Call me up. We can talk. Okay, I got number time on my hands, baby. Like I said, this is just a touch of J. I'm just trying to put all this out there in pieces for you. All right, so that was day seven. I'm giving y'all day eight tonight. Okay, I don't know what I'm going to talk about. I guess the way my day goes, all right? Today was pretty okay. I got up about 4.30. I fell asleep last night. Forgot to record the podcast for y'all. Like, oh my God, I missed the day. Just trying to work on my memory because I told you my memory sometimes has been affected by this. So sometimes I I just get the blank spots and I can't remember. So I'm trying to work on that. I got up and I, I made my doctor's appointment and did some of the things that I had to do. Um, had a conversation with my daughters trying to get better with my stress level because stress, I can't be under at all with this. It just makes it bad. So I have to learn how to relax. I'm going to be taking a bath again, not with the magnesium. Mm -mm, Can't do that. 
Um, I'm going to soak my feet in a little bit of it today, but I'm going to take just a regular bath just to relax myself. And y'all, when I get in the tub now, because I'm so bony, like you can feel my bones and stuff. Child, my butt be hurting in the tub. I just be like this. Lord Jesus. I don't know how y'all do if y'all out this skinny, but this is just a touch day. <sighs> Pray for me, child. Because when I come up out of this thing, you won't be like that one number God. That one number him. Okay? And when you come up out of your thing, that's what you're going to remember too. <laughs> that one number him. Because I told you that he was going to restore everything to you. I told you. All right? So look. Keep going. Keep believing in yourself. Boom. That's it. How y'all want me to end this? Anything. Anything else I need to tell y'all? No, I basically kind of did everything I had to do. I'm going to work out. Promise. Okay, I'm going to do my bands. I promise for y'all. I'm going to read my words of affirmation. I'm going to work on my coordination exercises and all that stuff. I'm going to do it today. I called up one of my friends. I said, I need some support today. And do that if you need support. You know, it's like counseling and stuff like that. So I'll be on the phone with them while I'm doing what I have to do. Pray for my hernia. I have decided to get the surgery done on it because I need it. And they're going to look to just see if I have anything going on up in there. You know, make sure I don't have no cancers, no nothing like that. We ain't wishing that, but we just going, you know, believe for the Lord. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to do that. Make sure everything is straight. And it's going to be real quick. Probably take an hour outpatient. Okay. Just, you know, at the surgical center, nothing major. I ain't scared. Okay, the power of life and death is in God. I ain't going nowhere. Because you know why? If he take me out of here, I can't praise him. The ground can't praise him. And y'all can't get these pieces. So he going to keep me healthy. He going to keep me. He going to keep me just like he going to keep you. Okay? So look, you want me to end it like this? I'm going to give y'all the sexiest, sexiest. <laughs> Janet Jackson bear white voice I know how to okay hold on <sighs> who is this come on y'all what is this what is this what is this this is just a touch of J <laughs> y'all know I put it out there in pieces for you <laughs> Y'all like it when I do it like that, baby. <laughs> oh, my God. I love y'all. I got some new music coming, too. Look, I'm working on it. But I love it, you know, because God give me these downloads and these songs and stuff, y'all. This is just such a, I just put out there a piece for y'all. That's it. I'll be like, what, God? He'll be like, yeah, do it like that. So, look. The last thing that I tell y'all is, what's well, the first thing to the last, Okay. Is don't let nobody make you feel like you ain't telling wise. Please don't. Oh my gosh. And don't make yourself feel like you ain't telling wise either. Okay. So you make somebody, so you let somebody else make you feel like you ain't telling wise. Let me tell you. While you out here, you going through and stuff like that. And you know, let's just say you need support and you know, family support. Like I had one time when I had, my family was hating on me when I first started having good success and things like that. You know, yeah, I had someone that was hating. It was crazy. You know, I couldn't believe it. You know, the closest ones, you know, and sometimes people be hating on you, you but you got to tell them how I hate because they need this work too. See, back then I didn't know that, but now y'all know, because I'm telling y'all that, you know, sometimes people can try to make you feel like you ain't thorough and wise and you just got to just be like, hi, haters. Because y'all need this work too. And don't let them make you feel like you ain't thorough and wise. Okay? And you can't make yourself feel like that. Because sometimes we do that. Shout out to my girlfriend. I talked to you yesterday, boo. You know who you are. And I got the book. Thank you so much. She listens to my podcast every day. I got your book in the mail. Thank you. I can't wait to read it. I'm going to share this book with y'all too. Okay? It's called Naked and Exposed. Okay? Miss Martin. Yeah, y'all, y'all got to check that out, okay? I'm going to be putting it out there in pieces for y'all. Support my girl. She's amazing. She is amazing, amazing story. I love her. But you know what she told me yesterday? She was like, you can't despise the small beginnings and you got to keep going forward. Regardless, she always tells me, it's okay if you have struggles and stuff. You got to keep going forward. And this is one of the reasons she's been inspiring me um, to just keep on going. And I've been inspiring her too. And that's what I'm trying to tell y'all. 
Don't make yourself feel like you thorough, you ain't thorough and wise. Since sometimes we do that. We get down on ourselves. And she says, it doesn't matter. It's okay. But you just got to keep going. Okay? Now, the second thing, and then before I leave, I tell you all this. Shine on them. Because they hate it, baby. Yes. This the little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. (laughs) I'm so tired, y'all. That's why I sound like this. But look, you got to let it shine bright. Okay. Let it all out. Just put it all out there. Now, (laughs) the last thing, okay, that I tell y'all is spread love because it's the Brooklyn way. And this is just a touch of J. Y'all know I got to put it out there in pieces for you. Okay? I have to. I got to do what God's telling me to do because he didn't heal me. Like, listen, and he's been blessing my life. I cannot. Okay, I don't care. If you don't like it, you don't like it. Who don't like it? You don't got to listen. You don't got to be part of this success and this goodness. But I got to tell y'all, you got to spread love. Because see, what happens is when you don't know how to love, That means you got a problem with your relationship with God. Mm, Chill. This is just a touch of J, okay? Let me break that down for you. God says love him, right? And then you got to love yourself like you love him. If you ain't loving yourself correctly, how is it that you loving God correctly? Mm, 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 mm. I don't know who that's for, but you want to take that. So think about what you out here doing. And then he tells you to love others like you love yourself, like you love him. Now, look, look, how could you love others if you love others wrong? Or if you don't know how to love, if you ain't giving the love, you ain't spread love like the Brooklyn way. Look, that means something ain't right. It's just a touch of J. If you got issues with certain stuff, that might be why. You might be able to check yourself because you might be wrecking yourself. Put the love out there in pieces for him, baby. I love you, okay? Now, Quick recap. All I'm saying is, is that if it gets rough, you on the right path. Don't give up. If you have some bad days, it's okay. Okay? Just make sure that it ain't long. You ain't like, that. it's been a bad month. You know, like, just regroup. Okay, I fell off a little bit. Let me get back on course. And because sometimes when you get off course, it's nothing but the enemy just on you. A weight of heaviness. You're trying to figure out why he uses other people to get at you and, and things like that. Every all havoc, all hell start breaking loose in your life. You got to look at your, your path and you got to say, wait a minute, I was on the right path. Wait a minute, now I ain't. Reposition yourself and go again. And if you get off the right path, you go again. It's like the video game. You die at one level, you're like, man, do you give up? Throw the game to the side, I'm dumb. No, you probably pick it back up, even if you do do that, and you try again. And then you get, you start getting the curve. You know what, I'm going to win. I'm going to beat this game. That's how your life should be. You should want to win. You should want to beat it. Don't give up. Don't quit. Don't get com- commit suicide. My son's father committed suicide. He hung himself when my son was three years old. Okay? This just touched it, baby. I've been through all type of stuff. Don't do that. Don't give up. None of that. You feel depressed? Call somebody up. Talk to them. Some days I have down days and I be feeling like that. I call them up. I talk to them. I I get outside. I I try to keep it going. You know, you just keep it going. When life gets rough, you don't give up. That's all this podcast was about. And then I told you, you know, I gave you some words of affirmation, but I gave it to you from the Bible. And I told you what God says, you know, in Joshua 1. Thou shall make thy way prosperous. You shall have good success. I will be with you like I was with Moses. He was really with Moses. Okay, Moses was the one he came to and he did everything through Moses. Check out who Moses, Moses was that bull. He was the man. Okay. And we all are here for some type of purpose. And and you know, sometimes when we walking really towards it, (laughs) And we getting good, you know, we shy the daughter. The enemy, he try to get you. Like with me, I'm doing my podcast now. Now I'm, I'm coming out of this. My healing is better, you know, and things like that. And he doing little stuff to try to knock me off where I'm like tired some days and, and things like that. And then I'm starting to feel a little down sometimes. But nope, got to get it back going. And that's all you got to do too. So that's all I'm saying, okay? And don't, don't, let me say this. Because God told me to say this right before I leave, Okay. 
Sometimes we reach out to people. I want to say this to you. And they're not there. Okay? Somebody needs to hear this. They are not there. Okay? Because they have their own lives. Or they're not there because they can't be there. Or they're not there because it's too much for them at this moment. Or they're not there because they're not even there for them. Four reasons why they could not be there. Don't get down on that. Some of y'all, all you got is God. That's all you got. You don't got nothing else like me. I don't got nothing else. That's all I got. But if you just trust them, believe in yourself and don't quit. Okay? Don't quit. You will reap a harvest if you faint not. Because those that sow in tears will reap in joy. Listen to me when I tell you this. It's all going to be good, baby. And this is just a touch of J. Fight the good fight. All right? I'm just trying to put that out in pieces for you, baby. Okay, so look, I got skin on up out of here. You know, that was like long to me and drawn out. Maybe it's not to y'all. You know, maybe you're like, yes, I needed that encouragement today. You know, yes, girl. Thank you for sharing that. I felt down too. You know, I don't know what you got going on. I'm just sharing my journey with you. That's it. All right? So pray for me. I'm praying for y'all. I love you. And I'll be back when I got something else to say. <laughs> Gosh, this journey to healing is something. I'm gonna get better with them videos, okay? I was all over the place trying that view. And, I, and look, you should see the first one that I recorded. I couldn't let y'all see that one. But I'm gonna get better, and y'all gonna see me. You're gonna be like, oh my gosh, look how God is transforming her. Like, wow, this is amazing. I'm gonna show y'all all this. I'm doing documentaries. You're gonna see me going to the doctors, like I told you, all type of stuff before and after surgery, everything. Okay? Just keep me in prayer. You know, y'all's prayers have really been working. I'm trying to tell you. All right. My vision is a little blurry today. Okay. Not bad, but just a little bit. Okay. So pray for that too. Okay. Y'all been praying for my vision. It's it's starting to clear up. So just pray for that. Okay. I told y'all about how my vision is a little messed up, you know, so keep me in prayer with that. But look, I'm about to here. All right. Again, like I said, last time, I'll be back (laughs) when I got something else to say. Y'all hear that? <laughs> this is just a touch of your baby coming at you, putting it all out there in peace. I just had to drop a bomb on her life flash. Oh my gosh, just that work, baby. And baby, you know you're fine, right? Fine. <laughs> it's just a touch of Just trying to put it in check. Peace, that's Hey y'all, this is just a touch of J, and I'm coming at you. Making love in these kitchen. Y'all hear that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my God. You better download that just to touch a chick app. J, 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 J. J, J. Hey, y'all. <laughs> this is just a touch of J, baby. What y'all out there doing? Y'all out there shining on them because they hate it, baby. Living your best life. Huh? Doing what it is that you do? Well, listen, mama got to drop a dime on y'all, but I want y'all to listen to the song of the week, right? Yeah, it's a remake, you know, with just a touch of J2. All right, let me know what y'all think. Call in, all right? Yeah, full songs are going to be coming up soon, and make sure y'all go over to uh, Making Love and V's Kitchen, baby. And check out the Just a Touch of J app, too. Mm-hmm. Mama just dropped the uh, sweet potato brownie recipe for y'all on the Just a Touch of J app. Y'all, y'all want that. Trust me. I know you do. All right? Listen to the songs. They up next. Y'all hear that?
She all go and make a lemon beats kitchen baby. She all go and make a lemon beats kitchen baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mama got some brownies. She prepared brownies for you, baby. It's for listening to just a touch of your podcast, baby. I love you guys. I'm just trying to put it out. I'm just trying to put it out there in pieces for you. Put it out there. Yeah, I'm tell y'all, this is just a touch of shit. I'm gonna put it out there in pieces. What's up, y'all? <laughs> Did y'all like that? <laughs> yeah, man. I just wanna talk to y'all for a little bit. Y'all gonna make sure y'all go over there. Make a lemon beast kitchen, baby. y'all hold on one second this is just a touch of jay y'all remember them songs listen i got another one for you so stay tuned right because all he needs is just a touch of jay <laughs> that's what's up next all right i love my babies check it out my baby like Pieces it when i do it like that you. all he needs you. is just a touch of jay pieces for you Pieces, cause y'all know I'm thrilling wise, right? Wise, right. All you need is just a touch, it's just a touch. Ladies, y'all hear that? Pieces for you. I just wanna I just talk wanna to y'all for a little bit. Pieces for you. 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 
pieces to you. This is just a touch of JP. Shout out to the love of my life. You know you're fine, right? 